The GPU competition continues to heat up, NVIDIA seems to be preparing another major GPU release coming up very, very soon to combat AMD's Big Navi. Let's talk about which GPU and why this may be important. Hey guys, Tiago here with Classical Technology. Let's talk about what may be possibly coming as soon as January. That's going to be the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti. For all of you that were looking at the releases of the 3080, 3090, and wondering what could possibly come in the middle of these two monster GPUs, now we may finally have our answer. Let's talk about a few reasons why this may actually be pretty important. First, let's talk about the pricing that all of these GPUs GPUs are actually coming in that. If you notice, the MSRP of 699 of the 3080 is pretty different from the MSRP of the 1499 3090. So basically, $999 seems like a pretty sweet spot to have a 3080 Ti. So that makes a complete amount of sense, as well as if we compare AMD's 6900 XT, which pretty much is trading blows with the 3090, Nvidia can't really price a 3080 Ti any more than $999. So we're hoping it's going to come in around there. Now, we're not sure if we're going to have a Founders Edition version yet. Most likely, sometimes NVIDIA likes to do just third-party cards for some of these GPUs, but would be nice if that came in at $899, given a little more of a price gap between that and the third-party manufactured GPUs, which historically have always been a little bit more expensive. And in terms of GPU pricing, this is a very likely scenario. And if it seems like NVIDIA and AMD are focusing on the more expensive expensive high-end GPUs first. That's exactly what they're doing. I think they're really trying to win the gaming crown and the hearts of gamers and enthusiasts. And the best way to do that is with a well-priced high-end GPU. Now, to be fair to the 3080, with all of its stock issues, it really is a very well-performing GPU for the price. I mean, that's why it has the such high demand. If it wasn't such a good value proposition for the performance that it's putting out for $699, you can bet that people would be okay with skipping it. But but since it provided such an increase over last generation for what can be termed a pretty fair price for a high-end GPU, it got a lot of people excited. And now a $999 3080 Ti still is a lot cheaper than a 2080 Ti was, and of course it's going to absolutely blow the doors off that GPU in terms of performance. But that's no longer the issue. The issue here is, will that 3080 Ti blow the doors off AMD's GPUs, which have become very, very competitive? So now now that we've addressed the possible price of this GPU, let's talk a little bit about what may be even more important, and that's going to be stock and availability. Now, we know the 3080, 3090, even 3070 stock definitely has been very hard to come by. There's such massive demand and low availability, and we don't know yet what AMD stock of the GPUs are going to be for their big Navi 6800 and 6800 XT, which are coming out now in November. And another hint that we have at not only possible stock levels, but this also probably points more to a GPU being competitive. Remember a while back, there was a rumored 3080 with 20 gigabytes of VRAM. That GPU was pretty quickly scrapped as soon as AMD announced their GPUs, which surprised everybody at the level of performance that they had. That's why NVIDIA had to scrap a 3080 with 20 gigabytes of VRAM and just go straight for a 3080 Ti that will also have 20 gigabytes of VRAM. This is not only going to save sort of their manufacturing from doing another GPU, they can focus everything in terms of stock and components on this new 3080 Ti to better go against AMD. Now, we don't really know how stock is going to be for this 3080 Ti. You can bet there's still going to be a lot of demand for it, and we can assume that it's going to be pretty similar to what's happened so far. It seems like recently the launches have been slightly improving. If we take the RTX 3080 launch in the beginning as sort of the poster child of how not to do a launch, it seems like after that each subsequent launch has been improved a little bit. Look at the 3070 launch. Even though it is a more mass-produced GPU, a lot more people are definitely going out for it, it was a little bit better launch than the 3080. Even even though it's not perfect, people still can't get them. A lot more people, in fact, did get them. Even if we look at the Zen 3 launch, which are CPUs, so are a little bit different. 
More people seem to be able to get those than they were able to get GPUs, especially something like the 5600X certainly seem to be a little bit more widely available. So hopefully these will hint that the 3080 Ti by the time maybe January rolls out, if that is the supposed date that it's going to be released, hopefully by then Nvidia can at least supply enough for demand, coupled with more supply of the 3080, 3070, even 3090, together with AMD's big Navi GPUs. Hopefully by the start of 2021, we can see some of these stock issues issues dissipate or at least improve where people have a little bit better chance at getting these GPUs. So pricing and stock issues aside, the third point here is how good is the performance going to be versus Nvidia's own GPUs as well as versus AMD's Big Navi for the 3080 Ti. Now the biggest change here is going to be 20 gigabytes of VRAM. A lot of people complain that the 3080, even though like the 3080 Ti, it does have the GDDR6X VRAM which is faster than the regular GDDR6. People complain that 10 gigabytes on the 3080 really is a limiting factor and it's not very good for future proofing. That's because really massive games take something like Microsoft's Flight Simulator 2020. If you max it out with all of the settings in 4K, it's very demanding on the VRAM, not only the allocation, but the total usage. So something like that could definitely make a 3080 struggle. Um, not to mention a couple of other games if you really max out in 4K. And of course, if you even want to think about in the future doing 8K, you certainly are going to need a GPU with more VRAM. The only other option right now, of course, is to step up to a 3090, but that's significantly more expensive. So unless you have like a workstation application that will take advantage of 24 gigabytes of VRAM, does not make sense for most gamers to make that leap. That's where the 3080 Ti comes in. 20 gigabytes of VRAM certainly is going to be very appealing to most people. It's going to seem very future proof. Not to mention it is still going to be GDDR6X, which technically is still better than AMD's 16 gigabytes of VRAM, which is just GDDR6. Now, to be fair, even though AMD is using the more widely available and a little bit less performing GDDR6. They do have a few tricks up their sleeves, like 128 megabytes of an Infinity Cache, as well as the Smart Access Memory. Those are things that will help that VRAM perform better and close the gap between that and GDDR6X. But still, we don't know how smoothly those features will be optimized across the board, how they'll work in different games. It could vary from game to game. While GDDR6X is already faster than GDDR6 across the board, we have to see how these AMD implementations actually work on paper in theory they do seem like they close that performance gap a good amount so amd certainly has to be applauded for that for using other means of gaining more performance while still being able to use the more available regular version of the vram we just have to see how it's going to work in the real world that could be a major difference between paper and actually optimized drivers and optimized experiences using such hardware and just like the price puts the 3080 Ti in between the 3080 and 3090, performance-wise, I also think it's going to be a pretty similar in-between. Of course, it wouldn't make sense for NVIDIA to completely outclass the 3090 in terms of performance. And it must be said from some of the information that we've seen so far, it's possible the 3080 Ti will share a lot in common with the 3090. It may basically just be a little bit dumbed-down version of the 3090. Of course, also sharing a lot with the 3080. So it's going to be the perfect in-between card in terms of performance, but most people are not going to be looking at the 3080 Ti versus just the 3090. They're going to be looking at it in terms of the 6900 XT. Even more importantly, they may be looking at the 6800 XT at 649. It's already very competitive with the 3080, so certainly the 3080 Ti has to be able to perform well above something like the 6800 XT just because it may come in at around $250 more, and while it's okay if the 3080 is close to the 6800 XT, they're priced pretty similarly and you would expect it to be such. You really don't want the 3080 Ti to be outclassed by a much cheaper GPU. So here really, we're hoping that it's going to be competitive with the 6900 XT, which you do have to question because it showed the 3090 running neck and neck in a lot of games with the 6900 XT. Now to be clear, some of these cases were using sort of the rage overclock mode on the 6900 XT, as well as that smart access memory. So we're going to have to see if in real world scenarios on people's real systems, if the 
6900 XT really is going to be that close to the 3090 or if the 3080 Ti will also demonstrate better performance in the real world. That's really going to be the gist in the performance here. Since everything on the 3080 Ti is sort of theoretical at this point, we can only assume that the performance is going to be somewhere between the 3080 and 3090. We also really can't make any type of valid conclusion yet because even though AMD has presented these benchmarks showing very high performance, we have to test them in the real world because they could be very specific cases where those numbers are true in the real world with different drivers, different hardware, those numbers could very well prove to be very different. So in terms of performance, this really is going to be a wait and see moment. Now you can assume with the 3080 Ti coming out in January, well after all of the AMD GPUs are released, you can only assume that Nvidia is really going to test it against all of the big Navi GPUs. And if they're pricing it at $999, you can bet that they're going to want it to perform better than the $999 6900 XT. I don't think they would put out a GPU at the same price with less performance. So that competition certainly will be very great for us as a consumer we're going to be getting better and faster gpus for much better prices all right guys thank you very much for watching i'm going to be doing a lot of this market and gpu analysis coming up especially with the amd gpus coming up now the 6800 and the 6800 xt so remember to subscribe if you like content like this smash that like button and i'll see you guys on the next video